My name is Eugene Panrukovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Sony VGN NW242F laptop computer. Uh, the best way to identify it, it's, uh, it's called the NW Series Notebook right here on the lower left hand corner. And if you're looking at the part number, see if we can get a good zoom and focus. It's right here, VGN NW242F. Okay, Sony does not make it easy for you to find the screen part numbers. They're all confusing and there's multiple part numbers. This laptop is also known as the PCG, let's see if we can get a good, yeah, PCG. 7184L laptop. But basically it's a standard um, mid-range laptop. I like Sony laptops other than their model names. They're pretty good and sturdy and functional. So we want to replace a cracked screen on this laptop. The first thing we do before we start anything is we remove the battery. Very important to remove the battery. So there's two things, one that says lock down here, and then the one says release up here. So let's try it again. Okay, let's try this way. So lock and release. So the lock should be to the left. We push the release to the right, and the battery comes right out. Okay, next thing we have to do is now what tools we're going to use for this. We're going to need a pair of metal tweezers, an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 bit and a PH0 bit that's smaller, and an X-Acto knife with a pointed edge with a pointed blade and some sort of prying tool. This is a custom prying tool, but you can use either a guitar pick or a kitchen butter spreading knife will do the job just as well. So the first thing we need to do is remove the plastic frame around the screen. It's also known as the bezel. On Sony laptops, on this particular Sony laptop, it's a little bit harder, and I'll show you why. Okay, so there's some rubber covers that cover up the screws, and we use our X-Acto blade to remove those, to expose the screws. There's one. There's two. What I like to do with those is stick them next to the screw holes so you don't lose them there. They jump away from you pretty easily. There's three. And four. Okay, next we're going to remove the screws and we use our pH1 bit for this. One, two, three. and four. I'm learning how to use my left hand how to do this so that the camera can get a better angle. So I'm still a bit awkward with that. All right, what I like to do with the screws is put them <clears throat> in a pile for each, each step so you keep track of them. Okay, now when the screws are removed, it's time to remove the bezel, and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's a little bit more difficult. So what I like to do is use my fingertips, go on the screen side, and gently start lifting it up, and listen to the snapping sounds. So if something doesn't give right away, you go on to the next step, next spot, 
until you find places that give. Okay, so we keep going and going, and we get to the bottom. And here, it's sometimes you have to use a little more force at the bottom. Listen for the snapping sounds. Okay, this is where the tricky part is. The bezel here, it's kind of thick, and it goes the, all the way to the back to the lid. So what we want to do is use our prying tool to snap this part out, like so. All right, and there's just enough space for the bezel to come out this way. So we, once we snap the seam up off, we I'm going to make sure it's all snapped off. We go up on top again and gently lift it up. So there's a part here that's still stuck, and now it's off. Okay, and you gently lift it off. So the hard part is, this part is kind of thick, and it has to go up through this part. But just take your time, and don't get frustrated, and eventually you'll get it. Okay, now that we removed the bezel, it's not too difficult after this. The screen is mounted on metal brackets by screws on the side. You have to remove those screws first, so we'll do that next. Okay, the screws are visible, so we can get to just about all the screws, and I think we're going to need a PH1 bit for this three screw. So this screw here, it's hiding a little bit behind, so you have to push the screen forward a little bit to get to it. Another trick that I like to do sometimes if it's hard to get to the screw is you loosen up the screws at the bottom that hold the brackets to the back lid. The only thing is you got to remember to tighten them again once you put the laptop back together. So we removed this difficult screw, and the rest shouldn't be as hard. For the rest, you can probably use a PH1 bit again. It's easier to get a grip. On each side of the screen, it's mounted with four screws. Typic that's not typical. That's a lot. Usually on each side, there's two to three screws, so this laptop is a little, a little bit more sturdy. Okay, and here we do the same thing again. We loosen up the bracket screws at the bottom so we can tilt the screen forward a little bit. You just loosen them, don't take them out all the way. And then this way we can get to all four screws. One, Two, three, and four. Okay, when you're doing this, make sure the screen is tilted back a little bit because once you release all the screws, you don't want the screen falling down on you. So now that you do this, you gently Tilt the screen forward, make sure there's nothing in the back that's stopping it from tilting forward. And let's take a look at what we have. This is a older type CCFL screen, cold cathode fluorescent light lamp. So it's for the backlight it uses a fluorescent lamp. The newer screens use a LED backlight. And the biggest difference between the newer LED screens and the older CCFL screens is that the newer ones only have one connector, typically down here, and the older ones have two connectors, one here for the video cable and one here for the backlight. Now the other thing I just noticed is that it's hard to remove this connector. So what we have to do is be very careful 
What I'm going to do first is remove the video cable connector because that's easier. So there's some yellow tape that you have to lift up on top. Since Sony laptops are a bit more sturdy sometimes, it's more difficult to replace the screen on them, but we can manage. Okay, so we lift up this yellow tape. You don't have to lift it up all the way, just enough to release the connector. And once we lift up the tape, all we do is find another tape. And so there's a clear tape under the yellow tape that we have to lift up. So let's lift this tape up. Okay, that should do it. Now that we lift both tapes up, we can pull the connector back and it comes out just like this. Okay, so now we only have the inverted connector left. So what we're going to try is the position it is right now you can't get the plug out. So what I'm going to try is to loosen it up a little bit. It has adhesive on the back. So I use my X-Acto knife to loosen the adhesive on the back. Just pull it out a little bit. Once it pulls out we can easily remove the connector for the for the lamp. Okay, and here is the screen. The screen it's a 15.6 inch CCFL screen. Let's look at the part number for this particular screen. The one that you need to look at is CLAA156A01A. So that's the part that you use when you do your search. Now, as screen surgeons, we also sell laptop screens. So there's instructions on top of the video how to buy a screen from us. If you want to buy the screen yourself, you do the search for the part number I just gave you on Google or eBay. And most likely, you will not get this exact same part number. You'll get a compatible screen with the connectors in the same place. The thing you gotta make sure is you gotta make sure it's not the newer LED type screen, but the older type CCFL screen with a little pigtail on the bottom like this and the connector in the upper right hand corner instead of down here. The other thing that we need to notice is that this screen has a glossy finish. Most screens are, so just double check that. And uh, that's it. So once you get your screen in, you reverse the procedure. And the thing to remember is, is to tighten these screws at the bottom that we loosened. That's the biggest error that I find. And then put the bezel back on and the connectors in and everything, and you should be good to go. All right, uh, once again, my name is Eugene Panrikovic. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much and good luck.